Gentlemen, how are you? Divagant here. This is the remaster of tutorial 1, how to configure DAG. On this remaster I'm going to show you also how to configure uh, to a mod. In this case uh, a phantom mod will create, but we'll get on to it. Well, uh, the first time you'll boot up Valve Amer Editor, uh, you'll be presented with a window telling you you have no configs and asking you if you want help and asking you to config. Anyhow, on the, the options menu will appear and we'll start up with game configurations. You can have various game configurations, for example, one for uh, Half-Life 1, one for Counter-Strike 1.6, one for the of defeat 1.3, and uh, even more than one for Half-Life and configure, configure it the way you want. Uh, well, let's start by adding up one. Let's uh, Let's call it HL1 for Half-Life, and let's edit HL1. Um, you gotta start with adding game data files. These are the files that uh, configure configure the entities on your map. Uh, on your Valve folder, you have a folder called fgd, which are the config files because they are .fgd, and we're going to add the Half-Life one. Okay. Uh, leave this like this, WOD3, this is the texture format which is WOD3.WOD uh, dot WOD for Half-Life also this leave uh, Half-Life because the, basically this is the only one but you're gonna use this anyway um, in default pond entity I advise you to use uh, info player start because that's always the, the first one you're gonna use and around here I advise funk breakable because that's probably the, the the one you're going to use the most. Now, uh, game executable directory. This is the folder where agile.execute is. Uh, in my case, as you can see, uh, agile.execute is here in my uh, C agile.op. So this is the folder I'm going to use. Now, uh, to the mod directory. This uh, let's start. Let's start first here. Game directory. This is the the game because Half-Life 1 is the game and everything else are mods. Counter Strike is a mod from uh, Half-Life 1 and so on. And this is basically going to be the folder where you have hl.execute slash valve, which is Half-Life 1 folder. Uh, and now here, the mod directory is your uh, the, the mod you're going to map for. In this case, we're going to map for Half-Life 1, so I'm going to use valve also. This is the backup directory for maps. Uh, Valve Armor Editor has a, a, a pre-made folder for itself. As you can see, in its folder you got a folder named Maps, which is empty. And this is the backup folder. You're practically never going to use it anyway. So, now, the game is executable. It's agile.execute, obviously. Agile.ops, uh, agile.execute. Uh, you can also uh, imprint stuff like games, a strike for booting up Counter Strike and stuff like so. Uh, the same how you you would do on shortcuts. Now uh, these four are the, the compilers. BSP is for maps, RAD is for light, VIS is for entities, CSG is for problems and leaks. Uh, start. They're they're going to be the four on the on the same folder. Um, on the on the Valve Hammer editor, you got a folder named Tools, which are the the, the tools uh, you normally use. Also, there's tools called the the Zonar compile tools, which are these four. These make your compiling quite faster and uh, almost bug free. The, they were coded by Zonar way back in 2000, and I heavily advise you to use it. I'm going to leave a link on the on the commentary. To, to them, to download the link to them, and you will leave, and I heavily advise you to use Zoner. Now, as the name indicates, I'm going to use CS Gear here, BSP here, this here, and RAD here. This is pretty much self explanatory. Uh, in the end, place compiled maps in this directory before running the game. This is the final folder where maps are going to be placed in. So this is going to be your mod folder, which in this case is Half-Life, which is Valve, slash maps. Okay? 
um, then you just have to add some textures. Uh, beware the textures are configuration free. You can change them anytime you want and you can keep the... even if you change configurations when editing the textures will remain the same. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to add the main textures which is house5.wad which is located in the vault folder. OK, apply. OK, S um, by, by notice, every time you change textures you gotta restart the uh, Valve Hammer, Hammer editor. Remember to save your files guys. OK, Valve Hammer So, here's our config. If you start a map, oops, if you start a map, it will ask you which configuration you want to use. In this case, we would use Half-Life 1. Now, I'm going to explain how to use the auto configure for your mod. Let's create a Phantom mod. Let's call it Phantom. You just, uh, in this case, you gotta know what you're doing. I got, there's plenty of tutorials around there. I'm making a, a, a commentary, you just gonna need this file, I'm just copying from other mods and I'm making a folder name maps and let's imagine this is your mod, you already gotta know what you're doing, okay guys? Um, this is your mod, this is your mod folder, it's called Phantom now let's configure for your mod uh, let's an, another one called Phantom okay, now let's edit Phantom the game data files uh, we're going to use the same as Half-Life because I, I assume you're making an Half-Life mod. Okay, leave the same, leave the same, the same as five minutes ago. Okay, the game is executable. It's also a gel dot execute. Huh? Oh, the directory, right. Uh, the mod direct uh, the, the game directory is always slash valve, and the, in this case, the mod directory would be our phantom folder, which is our mod folder. Okay, guys, this is the temporary map folder. Now, let's build programs for this. Game executable is also a gel.execute, but in our case, would be the game Phantom. So when you boot up using the compiler, you will boot up the Phantom mod. Um, for example purpose, I'm going to use the normal tools. Just pretty self-explanatory. This has now the place compile maps would be your mod folder slash maps. And that's pretty much it. You can save it. And notice I didn't have to to restart armor because I didn't change the textures. But if I did, let's for example let's uh, let's set this for example apply. You got a restart armor. Well, and that's pretty much it on configure armor. I'll leave the, the a mirror to Zonar compile tools in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, guys.